up. But not too much up. Fire the torpedo hands. This is very cool. This is going to be it's so hard to control the depth. I can't seem to just keep it at a stable depth. Oh, those are definitely going to hit, surely. Can't miss from this range. Yeah, there we go. Oh, kaboom! Let's go on to the submarine. They're looking really good. Are we going to get a big kaboom on this Liberty ship? Oh, that, that perfect. Absolutely perfect. Oh, look at that. That ship is going bye bye. Hello people out there, this is the Ruby Revolution, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to War Thunder. It has been a while, it has been a long while since I've done a video, but I had to do a video looking at this. Uh, Fly Daily has just uploaded a video uh, for a user-made submarine, uh, user-made model made by Palaska. Um, on a Type 7 submarine, like the badge to get uh, it working in the game was absolutely amazing. Because if you don't know, I am a little bit, of want to have a better word, a sub slot, which um, I do like submarines quite a lot. And to see this sort of user made mission working in War Thunder is absolutely fantastic. Submarines are definitely going to be coming to the game. And while War Thunder Naval, I'm not really much of a fan of, submarines are going to be definitely something cool to uh, think about when it comes. Uh, to War Thunder. Now the user made module and uh, mission isn't quite there properly. There is some definitely some issues with it with how it works but they can get the quite core of how the gameplay is going to work with it. Uh, they did change like the voice lines recently, they updated them all but there's also uh, voice lines for like changing depth, charging the battery so submarines are definitely going to be coming to War Thunder uh, soon so this is a little bit of a taster and we're going to talk about how they're going to be implemented, what kind of things we could kind of see and how they could work in the context of War Thunder. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go on to user missions, and then there's this one here with the convoy hunting. I have played this already, just to make sure uh, it is working. And it is working pretty well. And we'll take that out. No, limited fuel, no limited ammo. And hopefully I can get it to work. As you can see, there is a few bugs of it. They've got the sonar on the top left, which is from like the April Fool's event. Can't seem to get rid of it. But, oh my god. It's just... The, the Type 7 German U-Brits are so iconic. This one is slightly different. It does have mines on it. Go flank ahead. Now, this user-made mission does have a... Uh, let me put the binoculars on. I can't seem to put the binoculars on. Um... Just have some destroyers in it, and it does have some aircraft somewhere as well. But we do have a lot of Liberty ships we can go for, and hopefully we can hit those. Let's go flank ahead. Now it took me ages to work out how to change the depth on this, and it seems to be the Q and the E key to change the depth. But you also weirdly need to like look in the direction of where you're going to keep the um, the attitude correct. Oh my god, so fantastic! We're working internal as well. Now, yeah. Submarines from the Second World War aren't particularly quick. They're not the fastest surface vehicle. Like, submerged probably, at most, we're looking at 10 knots. And then, on the surface, up to about 18 at flank speed. So, they're not very quick at all. Because, they're, um... Running on batteries mostly, and they don't have the most powerful of engines. So they're going to be quite slow in War Thunder. Especially submerged. I love the sonar sound, actually. That's pretty cool. That's... Oh, oh my god, that's just so iconic. So iconic. Just got like... That's boot theme tune in my head right now. It is quite hard to control the depth. You can't seem to set the depth quite right. Okay, that, that, that's fine. Keep the speed up. 
It's going to be interesting how it works at War Thunder because you can have destroyers are going to have like a bit of purpose because, you know, they added in depth charges a while ago. They're not really that useful from what I remember. But you're going to be able to depth charge the submarines, which are going to be very lethal against. Are you going to have sonar for picking up the, the submarines? And it seems to be like right now you can see how when I'm submerged you can't actually see anything. So you might have to come up to the periscope dev and look you can spot everything again which is definitely accurate but you can also work off ping with the sonar as well for picking up ships so I wonder how that will be implemented oh we're going to go for this cargo ship here let's go up a little bit now, realistically, in like real life, it only had the four tubes on this and it had eight torpedoes in the Mark 7 reload. So you're not really going to have that much in the way of reload. And I wonder how it's going to work the same as the other ships and like they get the, the marker come up when you target the enemy ship. Because after getting probably quite, probably after getting quite close as well. I'm struggling to set the depth here. Right, let's turn her in. We are very close here. Oh, you can see how I'm messing up the depth now. Need to go up! Need to go up! Up! But not too much up. There we go. Can fire the torpedo. Can we fire a second one? We fired a second one. <laughs> I've accidentally surfaced. I would definitely be dead right now if this was real life, but it's okay because it's War Thunder. And hopefully they're going to hit. Oh, the torpedoes are so slow. Is it going to hit? It's hit. Hopefully she'll sink. If not, we'll go for another one. Oh, oh god. Accidentally blowing the ballast tanks. Doesn't look like she wants to sink. It's fine. We'll move out again and we'll come back in. Actually, no. It's, it's like we are the wolf here. These are the sheep. We're, we'll go for some in the middle. going to be a definitely interesting game because like certain ships as well aren't going to be able to counter the submarine stuff like battleships and a lot of cruisers don't have any means of oh it is sinking now don't have any means of attacking a submarine so really you're going to have some interesting mechanics going on Fire that off. Hopefully that's going to hit. Just seem to shoot this straight ahead. You can, like, in real life, aim them off to the left and right, depending on uh, the solution. Ooh, not too much crest. Oh, they make, they're looking good. They're looking good. Maybe even stood again, like too not far enough ahead. Yeah, we've missed them. Up, but not too much up. Fire the torpedo hands. This is very cool. This is going to be it's so hard to control the depth. I can't seem to just keep it at a stable depth. Oh, those are definitely going to hit. Surely, can't miss from this range. Yeah, there we go. Oh, kaboom. Let's go on to the submarine. A surface. Okay, we'll, we'll attack on the, the surface now. Don't know how much uh, uh, torpedoes we have. 
Oh, this is so cool. I, I'm quite a bit of a... Uh, I've an enjoyer of games like U-Boat and uh, Cider Hunter I've played quite a lot in the past. And it, it, it is... It's not going to be as immersive as that because it's War Thunder. Fire them off. Hopefully, in the actual game, like I said, you'll get the target solution so you know where the torpedoes are going. Because those are very slow. Oh, that ship's already sunk. I love as well how the destroyer escort has just gone away to attack the... Our friendly destroyer over here. Oh, they, there's my head. Oh, no, no, don't, don't lose it. Come on. Maybe one's going to hit. Yeah, we got one. Can we get the second one? Yeah, we got two. Oh, this is so cool. Hopefully that will sink as well. So, yeah, ammunition is definitely going to be a problem because you don't have much... In the way of torpedo reloads. And also, it takes a quite a bit of time to reload them. So, I wonder how that's going to work in game as well. Admittedly, by the time you get to more modern uh, submarines, you can get stuff like homing torpedoes. You can get, like, missile systems. Like tomahawks you can launch with, like, the torpedo tubes. And also, submarines are a lot faster as well. More modern ships can get up to like uh, modern modern submarines can get up to like thirty odd knots submerged, and they don't even have to surface. So there's a lot of potential there. Probably no more thunder though. It'll be half assed added in, and it won't add. Any major game changing mechanics, but it's still going to be fun, it's something different. I this with me with naval, I always want to play naval, but I'm always just grinding over things which take priority over it. There's some really cool ships. I always say the models for War Thunder, the War, War Thunder models for naval, are fantastic, but the grind is too long, and I have priorities over other things. But submarines might just make me want to play naval again. They're looking really good. Are we going to get a big kaboom on this Liberty ship? Oh, that that perfect, absolutely perfect. Oh, look at that. That ship is going bye-bye. And it's just... Vanished into thin air like a ghost ship. That is absolutely amazing. But anyway, a quick video to showcasing... This uh, submarine user main model. Oh, it's come back again. Big thanks to Palaska for getting this working. And a bit of an insight in how... Submarines are going to work in War Thunder. Absolutely fantastic job. I do absolutely love the user made models. They take ages to do, and it's definitely appreciated. People spending time and effort for basically nothing to get them these working in the game. Uh, link in the description below if you want to try this out for yourself. But anyway, I'll catch you all next time, and uh, I'll catch you all next one sometime soon. Bye.